The company hopes to use the moon's ice water in the future as an energy source. Toyota Motor Executives recently revealed that the automotive company intends to use regenerative fuel cell technology to power a manned lunar rover, which increases the possibility of eventually using ice water on the moon as a source of energy. Toyota's goals is to put a manned lunar rover on the moon before the end of the decade. Nicknamed the Lunar Cruiser, Toyota's pressurized rover to be developed for the Lunar Polar Exploration Mission is part of projects led by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. Toyota has been partnered with JAXA since 2019. The goal is to put the Lunar Cruiser powered by fuel cell technology on the moon in 2029. Toyota is also participating in NASA's Artemis program, and as part of its participation intends to have an astronaut at the Lunar Space Station, Gateway, during the later half of this decade. According to Reuters, JAXA said in recent presentation materials that NASA expects Japan to provide a lunar rover, a 2029 target launch date, as part of its contribution to the Artemis program. The rover's regenerative fuel cell technology is capable of both generating and storing energy. Regenerative fuel cell technology functions as a fuel cell, converting hydrogen and oxygen into electricity and water. It can also function as an electrolyzer that produces hydrogen and oxygen via the application of electrical energy. With its ability to function as both a fuel cell and an electrolyzer, this enables the fuel cell to switch between generating energy and storing it. According to Toyota, its fuel cell tech will use solar energy and water to generate hydrogen and oxygen via electrolysis during daylight hours. During the night, the fuel cells will supply electricity. Since a lunar night lasts for approximately 14 days, the lunar rover's fuel cell technology would allow it to ride for many days, even when it is dark and temperatures are extremely cold. In order to conduct long-term and stable research on the surface of the moon, we are aiming to source various items on site over a long period, said Ken Yamashita, Toyota's head of lunar exploration projects, in the Reuters report. However, while it would be ideal to use the moon's ice water to generate water that could be used for its fuel cell technology, Toyota is not expecting this to be possible anytime soon or of being capable of mining the water by itself. For now, the company will likely rely on other companies for future developments to obtain the water it needs, with Yamashita adding that at the start of operations, the clean water will have to be sent to space with the rover. Toyota is hoping to secure an order for its fuel cell lunar cruiser by autumn 2024. The manned lunar rover is expected to carry two astronauts for 42 days a year on mission and remain in operation for at least 10 years. That's it for now. Make sure to hit subscribe and grab our free ebook. The link is in the description. Let us know what you think. Leave a comment down below.